singer and actress killed in U.S. Park family demands 140 million U.S. dollars. Yes, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, a civil trial began on Monday in downtown Salt Lake City after the 25-year Ugandan woman was killed in the Arches National Park in the U.S state of Wuta and her relative are seeking 140 million u.s dollars in demand from the u.s government according to the court filing esther nakanjago a ugandan singer and actress was driving around the park with his husband on a windy spring day on 2020 when a mental gate whipped around sliced through the passenger door of her car and decapitated nakanjako the victim's family gave their opening argument on tuesday saying that the national service an an agency of federal government within the u.s department of the interior that manages all the national park was negligent and did not maintain the gates at the entrance and exit to the park which led to nakanjako's death u.s Anthony, the defense for nps did not dispute that the park officials shouldered the blame but agit the amount the family should be offered is fair less at 3.5 million us dollars and called into question the way in which the demand began sought were calculated Arches National Park is a three three hundred square kilometer desert landscape near Moba Water that is visited by more than one point five million people. Not nearly, it is known as the state of more than two thousand natural sandstone acres. So that is it. Uh, I think you've got any chance to hear about the the money that the family of Esther Nakanjiko, a Ugandan singer and actress who is killed in the US park, is demanding that is 140 million US dollars. We don't know uh, what is it, but that is the news that is up. I love you all. If you find it informative, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below in my comment section and subscribe to my YouTube channel.